people are always asking me what I cook and what I cook with. Sorry, I'm not going to be sharing one of my great recipes with you today, but I am going to be sharing my tips on how you can buy commercial cookware for your kitchen. Now, if you are at least a bit serious about cooking, I definitely recommend you go with the commercial grade cookware. I'm not going to kid you now, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Uh, for example, this one we bought at a uh, discount store, it's going to sell for about 12 bucks. Uh, it's a two quart saucepan. Over here, this one, the commercial grade, is going to be about 40 bucks. But let me tell you the benefits of the commercial grade. First of all, they're going to be a lot more heavy duty. You're going to find a lot of times that the rivets are going to be here to support the handles a lot better. So when you're moving from the stove to the sink and back, you also have a nice safety grip in that handle. Really good commercial cookware has a copper lining inside here. And what that does is copper is a great even heat conductor. And so it should help you be a better cook. Now in my restaurant kitchen, we use non-stick commercial grade skillets and I think that you should too. I'm not endorsing any brands, but we love the all clad because it's a nice lightweight pan, nice thick durable non-stick surface, and we can take our fish right from the stove top and put it right into the oven. Now to save money, I recommend you start with a small set. Now here's what it should include. A seven quart stock pot, a three to four quart saucepan, a three quart saute pan, a nine inch skillet, and a couple of bonus pans I really think that you should pick up. One is a non-stick seven inch omelet skillet for making great omelets in the morning. And secondly would be this grill pan which has these raised grill marks in the bottom. So when you're cooking steaks and chicken, you'll have those nice professional grill marks like we do in our restaurant. Now with your new pots and pans, I got one more tip for you. You're also gonna need to invest in some new utensils. No more metal on your non-stick surfaces. You don't want those little flecks in there because those flecks are not a seasoning. Remember that. What I do recommend is that you get some wooden spoons. You can get like a four piece set for around six bucks in various sizes. Or you can also get a non-stick uh, high temperature nylon spatula, which is great for cooking things like eggs and chicken and those types of things. It's another way to be a great chef and a smart American shopper. Breakfast, anyone?